All right. What's up? Welcome. Here's another live stream. Um, what I'm going to be working on today is some 3D dimensional models for... Oh, whoops. Wait a minute. Keep that. Press the wrong button here. Close that. There we go. We got the chat window going. Okay, so three-dimensional models because... Which one of these do I want to use? I think I want to use this one. This magic of voxel. Okay. Um, because, let me show you what I'm talking about. The 3D has been, the 3D switch has been flipped. I got the three-dimensional mode re-enabled. Um, actually, the code for doing 3D stuff was actually pretty close. I had it really close back in November. Like, it was almost there. In fact, it's, it still is almost there. There's a lot of little issues. I, I covered this in uh, my last little video on um, on YouTube. Gosh, these issues are just compounded when um, when I'm streaming. <laughs> Frame rate issues like go great cause a lot of other weird issues. But anyways, the point is, what what today's goal is to basically take. Uh, so I've got all these different um, placeholders images. Stuff like this. These are the two-dimensional mock-up sprites. Like, look at all these little sprites for, you know, this and that. Hey, what's up, Rocket Bunny? How's it going? I was hoping to see you on here soon. I've been, I've been curious how you've been. Are you still, uh, are you still going to school in Portland? So yeah, taking all these two-dimensional sprites and turning them into three-dimensional models. That's today's goal. So, um, buildings. All this stuff needs three dimensions. Okay, we'll start off with doing circles something underneath the character so that we can identify whether you're a, a lumberjack, all that. You're still in Portland. You just turned 16? Hey, happy birthday, brother. You figuring out how Xcode works? Nice. You got your first MacBook. Cool. That's great, man. Now you can learn how to do um, Mac code. If you want, you can also run Windows on it. You can triple boot. That's what I do on mine. I got Linux, Mac, and Windows all in one machine. Okay, oh, we're not coding right now. Got to get some of this done. Okay, so we'll start off with some, like, circle, like a circle shape on the ground. Eventually, the character will turn into a different character and have different weapon and different models and all that, but for now I think I'm going to do an extra um, model where it's just a circle on the ground that represents what role your character is currently. So let's do a new Magic of Voxel. We only want this to be one high. Um, maybe, okay, so each one of these, should, well, wait a minute. How high, if this guy was trimmed it would be 16 by 8. So 16 by 16 will probably be a good um, size for this little indicator, which indicates what you are. So let's go new. We'll make it 16 by 16 by 1. You changed your birthday and it just deleted your account? What? That's crazy. What the heck is with them? Gosh, man, that happened to me one time. I mean, something similar happened to me with um, a Google Play Music or something like that, where I had a whole bunch of albums all on this. I liked all these albums and downloaded all these albums, and I basically built up a whole library. Um, for six months, I was building up this library of music. I'm like, sweet, I got all these tracks. I can just hit shuffle and listen to what listen to some great music that I love, and I know I've... I vetted, but 
one day I just opened up the app and all of my music was gone. It was crazy. My entire library was forgotten. So I know how it feels when you lose an entire account. That sucks. Let's go ahead and erase this whole face here. We've got, oh, we've got the right palette already? Nice. Let's go ahead and sa save this right away. Um, weird thing with Magic of Voxel is I have these custom keyboard shortcuts which cause me to not be able to type in <laughs> file names. So I have to I have to like name stuff really weird and then just move it. So we'll save this as VGVRLKFG, FJ, because that's my favorite name. So we'll go to Art Models and move that verger, that thing to what we want it to be. Man, I've been great, dude. Yeah, things are awesome. Um, I'm happy living life, seeing friends. I have a van that I'm converting into an RV. This is like a, I'm inside a van streaming at you right now over a, over my cell phone connection. Life's awesome though. I'm traveling and making my my new game. I'm really excited to be doing it. I love making games. And I love traveling and combining them to, is just a really great way to live. I'm always got this fresh perspective. I'm seeing friends all the time and like ah, I love it. I love this. This life suits me. So we want this to be, we'll call this one uh, rollless. We'll call it roll rollless. Um, uh, idle? Shoot, what do we want to put on here? This is more, I, this isn't actually what I was going to be eventually. No, all, all around the Southwest right now. Yeah, so I've been in California, Arizona, New Mexico, Oregon a lot. Because, yeah, I'm from Oregon. I've been working on my van up there a lot. But uh, this winter, I've mostly been here in the Southwest. Yeah. How about you, man? How's, how's school? How's life? Are you playing football? Okay, we'll just call it idle anyways for now. Okay. And we'll go turn this into like a circle. Hey, what's up, Alex? Alessandro Bellazio. Okay, we'll do just like a little white line. Yeah, nice to meet you again as well on this fine day. How are you? Yo, Marza Power. Ciao. I thought there was a whiz sword. Whiz jib at ya. Nice. Practice to start up in a week or two. Cool. Football time. Right on. Marza, Alessandro, how you guys been? What's up? Just working on the new game. Living my life. How about you? How you been? Yeah, this is a voxel. Though This game is going to be voxel. So, um, like, the goal is to make it look like Songbringer. So it'll, but have, but the entire engine will be voxel. So this is, uh, um, yeah. So basically, big. Imagine three dimensional pixel art. Imagine pixel art that has really awesome dynamic shadows and all the lighting effects going on because it's because it is purely three D. It can look like really good. Yeah, a loner wolf. What's up? Welcome. Yeah, so no, I'm not actually ditching pixel art completely. Um, this will, I'm, my goal is to emulate pixel art with mo actual 3D models. So, um, and then I'll actually use pixel art for the menu and a lot of the different two-dimensional um, screen effects and things like that. 
so they'll still be pixel art, but there, but then um, the 3D stuff will also look like pixel art. So the whole thing will give you the effect that it it feels like and it looks like pixel art, but it just has really awesome, accurate 3D shadows. That's that's my goal. And I just flipped on the three dimensional switch, so um, so let's see, we can run. I can actually run it and show you what it's what it looks like. It doesn't look pretty at all right now. And it runs really, really slowly. The frame rate's horrible while I'm streaming. Um, but here, I could turn off. Here, wait. But the three dimension's going. And what's cool about doing this all with three dimensional models is that I'll be able to rotate the camera, which is something I would never have been able to do with Songbringer. Um, because Songbringer. Uh, was two dimensions. I couldn't. Uh, there's no way you can rotate the camera and change your pixel art angle and all that. But what's cool about this 3D is you can. You can rotate the screen, have accurate 3D shadows and all that, and it's a healthy challenge as well. Yeah, they're basically 3D pixels, but not not voxel like Minecraft voxel. Minecraft voxel is not 3D pixels. It's like giant, huge voxels. And that's a really easy thing to do, actually, um, three dimensions wise, because you're not using that many uh, vertices and stuff. But when you actually go to use tiny, tiny voxels, it introduces a crazy challenge because you can't have, you just simply can't process that many triangles. I mean, well, you can, but not on older hardware. And I want this to be able to run well on older, older type systems. So, what am I building a 3D engine with? Um, I'm still using Cocos 2DX. But I'm not really using much of Cocos 2DX at all. In fact, I've got an engine right now that I've sort of I've, I've written a wrapper layer around um, around Cocos 2DX, so I can basically not have to ever include Cocos 2D Cocos 2D.h in any one of my files. Basically, the entire three dimensions and the entire game engine is wrapped up in a library that's pre-compiled, and I I can switch it at runtime. So actually, my goal is to eventually not switch it at runtime, but switch it, you know, at compile time. Um, my goal is to be able to uh, use my publisher um, Double Eleven's engine eventually. So, oh, Minecraft is boxes, not voxels. That's right. What's up, Masi? Comanche? What's Comanche? I haven't played Comanche. Not the old Comanche, right? Oh, this one? Yeah, the old one? Oh. <laughs> really? I didn't know this was really voxels. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you like Comanche! So what I'm doing today is making um, some mock-up images for the 3D. Cool. I remember playing um, like Microsoft Flight Sim. No, this was Flight Sim before it was Microsoft. So we'll draw a voxel cube that is 16. Wait, no, I gotta we want to attach. There we go. Oop, not that big. Eight, maybe? Oh no, I want this to be sphere. There we go. Okay, sphere, but twelve? Uh, I guess sixteen will do. There we go. Okay, so I drew there, and now I'm gonna erase one that's fifteen. Just get a circle. Oh, fourteen. There we go. Okay, so that is just represents rollless. We will save that and we can copy this to roll lumberjack. Right, I could fit some graphics like this inside all these circles. Yeah. Roll 
lumberjack idle zero roll we're gonna do all these rolls lumberjack builder archer knight uh, bomber healer <laughs> yeah I can definitely see that being a bottleneck back in the day with 640 by 480 and trying to do tiny voxels that would be a huge bottleneck I see how it's a huge bottleneck even today yeah you tried Cocos but it didn't click sometimes sometimes a certain engine will click with a person I don't know I would try I would try some other engines maybe maybe you maybe you find one you like you know it clicks with you Bomber, healer, uh, pyro, assassin, oh, mage, um, spy. Oh, the spy doesn't have its own. Oh, there you go, SFML. That's a good one. I've heard great things about it. I mean, save your brain space for Jai. Yes. I agree. Gosh. Hey, is there any news on Jai? Does anybody have any tidbits? Is Jonathan Blow finished with his game yet that he's trying to make with Jai? That he is making with Jai? Mage. Um, what are the rolls over there? Let's get, let's get the rolls open. Roll component. Yeah, no news yet. Is that just physics? Is that just physics stuff? I've never used physics myself. It's industry standard and janky, huh? Why is it janky? They were. Oh, that's kind of good news. At least uh, they're moving towards having that, having a website for Jai. It's exciting. Deadlines. <laughs> I know. Deadlines and game developers. It's like we always get, we're always like, yeah, we gotta get this done by December, and then it's March. You know, you're like, well. Oh yeah, the ghost roll, R Tracker, Load Dragger. I guess we could do one for spy as well. Spy. Ghost. Arch Ragger and the Load Ragger. Uh huh. It will stick to walls. Oh. Yeah, I can see how it's janky. We made optimizations around Christmas. Really? Good for him. I'm so excited. He's been making optimizations to that the whole time. Like two years ago, he was making crazy awesome optimizations. He's like, I was watching him compile his compile his versus compiling regular C. It's just freaking awesome how fast it compiles. Ugh. I wish it was out already. I wish it was out six months ago so I could be making this game with it. Oh, he's getting rid of the linker. He's not going to be using um, uh, LLVM for that. I thought he was. So when I last checked it out, he was compiling everything to LLVM bytecode, and then letting LLVM do the linking. I know, right? Right. That is a huge point, Massey. All the time that we've wasted with C plus plus. Huh. Well, 
I'm excited, at least in with Low Dragger, I'm not wasting as much time as I was with C++. In fact, it compiles so fast. So the, the game engine wrapper layer I have called Kit Food does, I do most of the compilation there. And then when I have to actually recompile like Low Dragger's source files, which are these, mostly components and systems, these compile crazy fast because they're all minimal headers and none of it uses the STL. So there's basically very, very little template usage. And C++ can compile just about as fast as C doing that. As long as you don't use templates in the STL. High performance C sharp? Tell me about this. What's this? He's making C from C sharp, getting good results. Really? It's like it's a it's a C sharp, C. You mean C level a C speeds for compilation or what? Yeah, I yeah I totally understand that. I'm I'm just patiently waiting. I'll probably be it'll probably be next game before I can actually use Jai. So you know that'll work out perfectly. 2020 2021 is when the low dragger should be finished anyway. Oh, okay, so same idea where he's not using any of the crazy features of C-sharp and getting controllable assemble from it. Nice. Data-oriented code. I love it. Ah, I see. Okay, so basically, basically what they're doing with that C-sharp is they're basically making C-sharp run a lot run really good good and fast but they're not compiling as fast as C memory control yeah doesn't it doesn't C sharp have built-in memory control that you have to like not use if you want it to run at an acceptable frame rate I've written a few lines of C sharp myself but I've never written a game with C sharp so I don't really I don't really have all that practical wisdom right 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 yeah they're making everything static well hell if it if it gets c-sharp to run fast i'm all for it they really need that there's so many games these days that are written with c-sharp and unity that run so inefficiently <laughs> yeah you're at the part it must be good I think I got all these rolls ready to go. Okay, so Archdragger is an easy one. That's just a line. So I don't want to. I want to attach. Sphere is fine. Let's make it one though. We're gonna. So Archdragger is a a minus sign. Okay, Archer has the bow. I'm gonna reference my, uh... okay, yeah, that's cool. We'll do something like that. So if you're just catching the stream here, I'm creating some three-dimensional mock-up sprites. Um, just to quickly represent what entity is currently the current entity that your character is representing. You're the current role you are as a player. Shoot, I guess I should have made these 17. Oh well. These are just mock-ups anyways. They don't have to be perfect. This is the reason why creating mock-ups for gameplay is such an awesome thing because you don't you can stop worrying about how good the art is. Like like you know I could I could spend all day trying to make a a nice looking um, bow right here in three dimensional pixel art world voxel, but that'd be a complete waste of time right now. It's so good to focus purely on just gameplay. So that's why I'm creating these three D mock-up sprites or mock-up. 
models. The assassin has the knives. What did that look like? Whoa. I think the knives were like, oh yeah, these two little knives. You get motivated when the mock-up looks shitty? Cool. Yeah, n nice graphics from good games is a great way to do some placeholders. That's great. Because if you, yeah. So it's kind of embarrassing as a game developer to use mock-up images. It's like, damn, I know I could do way better than this. So it is. It, for me, it's like that. I get embarrassed. Shoot, I can't. What do I do to select this again? Isn't that it? Box wrecked. Oh, there it is. And then, ah, there, figured it out. Nice. Cool. There we got some assassin. Bad memory access. Show us some code. Oh, yeah. Demotivated. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yep. You get demotivated. I get embarrassed. But I'm just trying to get over my embarrassment because it's actually really efficient for me as a game developer to focus purely on the, the gameplay. Okay, assassin, bomber. Yeah, it seems to be working really well. This is the first time I've done this ever in, in game development to make to just use mock-up images I normally would go and create great art along the way I would just try and create some good stuff but there's a few um, things I want to test out with gameplay first before I commit to making too much art because I know that I'll change the art along the way and it will be a huge waste of time gosh what one was I doing bomber which what does the bomber look like did I forget to draw a bomber Oh, it's just a little bomb. Okay. Could have just used my creativity. I didn't have to, to look at that. Let's draw a little bomb. We can make it look extra shitty on purpose. That might be fun. I swear, it's not an apple. It's a bomb. Builder has a hammer. That's a, too thick of a hammer. Okay, the ghost looks like a ghost. Hold on a second. I did actually have to make a distinction between the ghost and the creep. Oh, the creep just looks like a skull, sort of. What is the ghost? The ghost looks... Oh, the ghost has cuter eyes. I get it. Okay. It looks a little more lumpy. Okay, that's cool. That's a ghost. Healer has the boomerang. We'll do the boomerang with a plus sign. <laughs> that looks kind of funny, but who cares? Okay, knight has the sword.
And the low dragger has a plus sign. Lumberjack has the axe. How did I draw that axe? It kind of looked cool. All right. Like this. Mage has the lightning rod. Oops. But how did I draw that? Oh, I just did a hand for now. Okay, whatever. Let's make this look more like a lightning rod. It's not really... Ah, whatever. That's the mage for now. Pyro has flames. And roll this is just a circle spy. Um, I'm not sure how to represent a sp oh, the spy is the hat. That's right. Try a little hat. Yep. Oh, the mage is, um, the mage has lightning. So just how Songbringer has the five different elements, there's going to be that in Low Dragger as well. So the pyro represents the fire. The mage represents lightning. Uh, the archer represents ice. Um, the healer actually represents fear because their healing actually works as fear on enemies. Um, and fire, ice, lightning. Oh, acid. Oh, acid is from the assassins. So the assassins have poison knives or acid knives. Okay, there we got some some mock-up images for that. Let's go ahead and use those. Let's put these in the game. Or wait, no, actually I should finish drawing the rest of these mock-up images or mock-up models. We've got those, we've got that. Let's do a tree. Okay, the tree and a rock and water. What do we have for the tree already? We've got tree A, tree, okay, we want just tree A. This is, let's make this 16 by 16. This is a really gnarly tree. Okay, I want to pick a color. Oops. Which one is the pick? I think it's this one is the pick color. Yeah. Just clean this up a little bit so we kind of have a little bit of a better tree. Okay, we'll just make a rock.
And we'll just select all and delete. And we'll build some rocky stuff from the ground up. Okay, that's a rock for now. Um, rock tree, water. And this, I think, We'll just do one Z pick one Z voxel for now. And we'll erase this face. Attach this darker face. And draw some watery type ripples. It's okay if it's not perfect because it's just a mock-up model for now. Just something to represent the entity in the world and be able to, you know, know that it's there. Okay, that's good enough water. What else? Okay, so we gotta represent the buildings. We'll start with the tower. Oh, actually, I think I want to name that building rollless idle. Okay, it will work on one of these first before we go and copy them all to other stuff. All right, now I want this to be at least 20, at least as high as the character is. Let's see how high is, this is at Z, doesn't say the Z, dang. So what if we were to go fit? Okay, that's 36 tall. This is about, he's about 30 tall. So if the building is 24 or so, 20 even, right? What I want to see is that on top of everything. So let's make it, I want to do this on top of a cube. We'll do 20 high. And then select all and uh, move it, whoops.
And then we'll do what's a what's a good building color? I don't know. Call that a building for now. <laughs> okay, so building role list idle. We want a building tower, building lumberjack. Oh, I've been moving. Whoops. Okay. Now, tower idle, tower rollers, lumberjack, builder, archer, healer. Knight, Mage, um, Assassin, Pyro, Spy, and what else do we got? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Bomber. Oh, forgot the bomber. Mage, assassin, spy. Cool. Oh, we get the. We already got a load zone for now. I'll make that better. Okay, good. We got. Now we don't need that. Got that. Good. Oh, we'll need a bridge. Okay. Okay, let's copy everything from the archer and we're gonna to go to building archer oh dang we can't make this any bigger oh wait all right cool I didn't know that was there yeah we need a little bit more space here that'll do okay so building archer Paste that in while moving it up. There we go. That was easy enough. Okay, we're going to do assassin now. I'm just using command C to copy and command V to paste. And then I'm using the command drag to move whatever pixels are selected. I'm using Magic of Voxel here. This is a nice little voxel editing program. I like it a lot. I wish it had animation, but I think it'll, it'll, they'll eventually add it back in. In the old version it had it. Okay, next is Bomber.
Uh, next is bridge. Oh, bridge will be... What's the bridge going to look like? Yeah, and their included demo models are great, right? And there's, gosh, there's some people doing beautiful scenes. I've seen some great stuff on Twitter, like people's GIFs, people's just images, sync screenshots of amazing worlds they've created with Magicka. When you switch into their rendering mode and you start editing all the materials and things like that, you can generate some real awesome looking stuff. Um, luckily, Sir Karma, am I following Sir Karma already? Yeah, look at this. I swear I've seen, yeah, I think, I think I've seen some of his art before. Am I following him? I am now. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love it. Wow, look at that. Cool, good for him. Dang, these are great. Oh, he's using like color cycling or, no. He's actually putting some special voxels in there. This must be an actual animation, man. <laughs> yes! Look at that! Oh, if only Super Mario World were like that. This is kind of the goal. I want I want Songbringer to look like that. Like you'd be able to look like pixel art, but yet be 3D. Good stuff. Can't wait to check out some more of his tweets. All right, bridge. Let's just cut everything off here. We're going to chop off everything but the bottom row of pixels there. Whoops. There we go. Oh. We'll just delete them all. And attach a face. There we go, that's the bridge. Okay, we're gonna do builder, which is just a hammer. Builder. Yeah, for full 360. You mean rougher by uh by like uh um bigger pixels, bigger voxels, builder. Man, I can't wait to do to go fully art, fully art all this out to put in shaders to make all the all the models look really good. We'll get there though, one step at a time. Oh, there's no building ghost. But there is a building for the healer. So building healer. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I get you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah, with things like just 16 by 16, it's, it's a, I would be a, a bit harder to try and make it look real good. Like, but eventually, like, stuff like this, like, being able to make models that look real good and, like, look really good from every angle, that'll be fun. That'll be a really fun phase of this game. Yeah. Oh, I did the builder. Healer. Wait, did I do the healer? Oh, okay. 
Taylor it is. Knight. And uh, only a few more. Low dragger doesn't have a building. Lumberjack does. Mage. Pyro. Rollis. Rollis does have a, but that Rollis is already done. Spy. Spy will have a building. Oh, you got a building now, Spy. And the tower itself, let's make this tower like, we'll delete all these white voxels and just make some, what are these called, parapet things. Okay, so that represents a tower for now. What else? what else? There's a few more things to put in here. This like a swoosh for attacking, um, a bolt for firing arrows. And we'll call that good for oh, the shield. And then the creep. Okay. We'll start with the creep. We'll copy. Um, any one of these will work. Whoops. Creep idle A zero. And we'll just do a big old, well, we could do a cube at the bottom for his, like that, and then like a sphere on top of that. This big. Okay, we'll just give it some red eyes. We call that good for a creep. Okay, now we need a swoosh. Let's 
Swoosh. I want this to take up three dimensions. I'll start with the one little line there and then attach some faces. And then delete a little bit of it. A little bit with spheres. Mm, yeah, sphere. That looks really weird. Not a, what I was imagining, but it's good enough. Swoosh, we need a bolt or like a, some type of, uh, oh, arrow. That's good enough. Oh wait, we need to get it up in the air. Maybe about there. Something like that. Okay, we got an arrow, we got creep, a swoosh. Oh, the entrance. Entrance to the underworld, the cave entrance.
Okay, that'll do for a cave entrance. And I believe that's all. So we can go and actually make all these models. Oh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and save all these with the old version of Magicka because I'm just selecting each one and then saving because this actually stores them in a more efficient format, like the file that it, that it renders out. It doesn't have a whole bunch of extra stuff that the latest version of Magicka has. Not that it, it probably wouldn't slow down loading these models too much. It's like 700 bytes versus 3K. It's not too much of a difference. But I'm just doing it for efficiency's sake. Because my brain's like that. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of new models. I'm going to add these. There we go. New files. Great. Now we can go ahead and put them in the game. Let's start off with the buildings. That'd be a good start. Yeah. Water. Oh, water might actually be a fun one to do water first so we want um, what, um, I think it goes anims idle water water a zero is that right let's check up let's check on uh, player dot text that has so yeah nms idle right okay I did it right model we can use the add sign to represent actually we don't need to do that it's not necessary nms idle I think that's all we need okay let's see if that worked if it does, I'll be able to run to the middle of the arena and see some water. Good. Okay, we've got some water on the ground here. That's nice. Looks like it's occluding the character somehow, but that's okay. Great, we got some water. Um, let's go, what's the other simple, like a cave entrance might be cool. Ah, we'll just... There we go. So it's just cave zero. Oh, let's do the creep real quick. And Speaking of that, we can do the number sign for all those zeros. Cool, thanks. All right, cool, we got a cave entrance. It's just a bunch of gray pixels for now which will look so much better once there's the shaders. It should be spawning some 
Is there a creep spawner right here? Yeah. Oh, there is a, oh. I'm literally being attacked right now. Here, I died. Okay, the creep didn't work. Creep idle a, creep, what is it? Creep idle a, yeah, I did the right. What's up with that? Render anims. Huh, the creep is just ain't drawn, and I can't see what's wrong with that. What if it's just A0? Is that number sign doing something to it? It shouldn't. Yeah, that's not it. Okay, so we've got a creep, but it's totally invisible. I'm not sure why. I'm just going to continue on with the other stuff. Hey, what's up, Ichi Cero? Yeah, things are great, man. Working on the new game, really enjoying it, enjoying life. Everything's phenomenal. How about you? Okay, so we'll come back to the creep. I'm not sure why that's not, it's not working. We'll leave it as the number sign, though. Yeah, I guess we could do the buildings. All right, building lumberjack. We'll start at the beginning. Box dot box. Life's pretty sweet at the moment. Ah, oh, it's great to hear. Cool, buddy. Same here. I'm uh, traveling around in my van, uh, visiting friends, working on my new game. Life's good. So we'll call this one, this is a builder, building lumberjack idle zero. Sweet, cool, we got the building lumberjack with its purple base and its white top. It's kind of hard to distinguish what, it will be definitely hard to distinguish the, the, the roles, but oh well, they'll work as, as placeholder art for now. Okay, building builder. Building rollless. Let's make sure we got all those. Cool. The builder's got his hammer. Lumberjack's got his axe there. The rollless just has a little blank circle on the top. You'll notice that if I do, if I go and touch this lum building lumberjack up in the top right, it will actually change my role to lumberjack. So there, I'm a lumber. Technically, I'm a lumberjack right now. And then if I go back to the roll, roll this building over here. 
The visuals are definitely off. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm rolling this already. I think the where things are being drawn is not exactly right. So that's why it's hard to hard for me to step on that building. So it's, it's I don't think it's in the right place. Okay, so roll this lumberjack. Let's go archer. Knight. Healer. Oh, this doesn't even have an anim. Healer. Bomber. Mage. Spy. Assassin. Tower. Okay. We want to do the swoosh too. I think it's just when we use the axe. Oh, okay. So when we use the axe, we want to do swoosh, which is, yeah, swoosh A, number sign, box. Let's see if that works even. So I'm going to become a lumberjack. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's over there. What is it doing way over there? <laughs> That's weird. Let's try and figure that out right now. When we use, there's a function called use weapon inside input system that basically creates the entity and then destroys it after a little while. Oh, it's not rotating. And it's definitely not, it's not setting the position right at all. Which is kind of weird. This looks like I'm setting the accurate position right here. Definitely not the rotation. Hmm, if I go closer to the origin, does it fix itself? It seems like it might be adding in the camera pause or something like that. So I'm going to go stand really close to the origin over here. Oh, shoot, I became rollless.
So I'm standing way over here. Oh yeah, see it does use it right in the right place. If I get over here. Oh, it's in front of me. Oh. That's super weird. All of a sudden it's working now. It's a really janky animation for that, but oh well. Okay, somehow that's working now. The creep's still invisible. That's curious. Hmm. The lodestone, can we drag a lodestone? Oh, we should be able to use the block. Oh, yeah, we need to, we need to do a block image. Okay, we'll start with the drawing on the ground. Let's do this in like a pinkish color to represent that shield from Songbringer. And we'll do like a semicircle. Wow, that's actually turned out pretty good there. Okay, now we're gonna erase, but enable the Y axis. Is that right? Oops. No, not the face, just the voxel. Y axis, yeah. No, not, oh, Z axis is what I want. Yeah, there we go. Okay, something like this can represent the shield for now. Well, let's turn off the Y. There we go. Let's get a couple of these too. Oh, I can't wait till it's the artistic phase of this game. You can draw some cool models instead of some mock up models. That'll work for now. Just resave that with the older Magica and add it. And go to the shield. Okay. So I am roll list to be. Oh yeah. It's well. Once again, it's drawing it in a really weird place. What 
What's up with that? Draw it like way over there. That happened with the other one. Until who the heck knows what? Why did this? Why did swoosh all of a sudden start working? Hmm. All of a sudden, now the swooshes aren't working either. Well, there's a long ways to go with this, but I think that's gonna be it for this stream. Um, got some great, got some mock-up in images created, so that's good. One of my next goals is to get all the the janky, weird problems going, for all fixed with uh, like how it's leaving behind some some voxels sometimes, how the creep is invisible. Um, how the trees look all too uniform and just ugly. There's no ground yet. There's no shaders. There's a whole lot of stuff to do. But this is a great step forward, having being able to have some good uh, mock-up images in place for all the special important things like the lumberjack building and the load stone. And uh, so there, I'm excited. Some good progress. So thanks a lot for watching this live stream. And um, I'm going to go ahead and shut her down now and get myself some dinner. And I um, hope you all had a good time watching this. Hope maybe you learned something or just enjoyed it. So, um, yeah. It's good seeing you guys, too. Thank you as well. Cheers, guys. Catch you next time.